大家好，这是你们的肯尼亚汉语老师 Fade 老师。Hi guys, this is your Kenyan Chinese language teacher Fade, and today I'm going to be teaching you about transport and how to say different kinds of transport in Chinese language. So let's go ahead and look at a few of them. Now we'll begin with a car, just. A simple small car. A car is called chi cha, or you can simply call it cha cha. And then we have a bus. A bus, and especially the buses that are used for public transport, we call them gung gung chi cha, gung gung chi cha. Some people also will call them gung jiao cha. So we may find the two names. Gung gung chi cha or gung jiao cha. How about a train? A train is called huo cha, huo cha. How about an Uber or a taxi? We'll call it chu zu cha, chu zu cha. But you find also Chinese people will simply say Uber. Say chu zu cha is a taxi. How about a plane? Feiji, Feiji, and some people love riding bikes. Do you love to ride a bike? A bicycle is called zi xing cha, zi xing cha. How about a motorbike? In Kenya, we call them boda boda. A motorbike is called moto cha, moto cha. So now we are going to look at these different means of transport that I have taught you and how to use them in useful sentences. Now I want you to note that when we are looking at the word feiji, gung gung chi cha, chu zu cha, huo cha, and feiji, we use a very very important word called zu. Now the word zu means to travel by. So, for example, if you want to say, "I'm going to travel by plane or by aeroplane," you'll say, "Wo zu fei ji, wo zu fei ji." I travel by plane. Wo zu fei ji. How about you will travel by a bus? Wo zu gong gong chi cha. Wo zu gong gong chi cha. I'll travel by bus. Now, however, when you're looking at the bicycle. Or the boda boda. Do you remember what's that? The motorbike. You're going to say chi. The word chi means to ride. So if I want to say I'm going to ride a bicycle, I will say wo chi zi xing cha. Wo chi zi xing cha. I ride a bicycle. I ride a bicycle. Wo chi zi xing cha. Now let's look at other words. If I want to say I'm going to drive, I'm going to drive a car, or I'll drive a car to go somewhere, we use the word kai cha. Kai is is the word for driving here, and cha is the vehicle. You remember the car? So wo kai cha is I drive. Wo kai cha kai cha is to drive. How about To board a bus or to board, yeah, to board a bus, we'll say shang cha, shang cha, shang cha is to board, and to alight or to get off the bus, we'll say xia cha, xia cha. So note those words, those words, kai cha, shang cha, and xia cha. Now. I've just recalled that there is one major means of transport here in Kenya which I would not want you to forget. We call it mien bao cha. <laughs> Now, Dadia, I know you know mien bao is bread. Now, in Kenya, we've got common means of transport called matatu. Now, the matatu in Chinese language we say mien bao cha. And in Kenya, we've got many mien bao cha, hendu mien bao cha. Okay, now let's look at useful sentences that will help you in the means of transport. I want to ask you, how shall you go to Beijing? 
how shall you go to Beijing? So I'm going to say, 你怎么去北京? 你怎么去北京? Now note guys, the word 怎么去? The word 怎么 means how, and 去 means to go. So how go? 你怎么去北京? You, how do you go to Beijing? How will you go to Beijing? And then you want to tell me, I'm going to travel by plane to Beijing because we can't travel by border border. So, 你怎么去北京? 我坐飞机去北京. 我坐飞机. I travel by plane to Beijing. 我坐飞机去北京. Ah, how about, how shall you go to Mombasa? Mombasa is a very common tourist attraction here in Kenya. So I'll ask you, 你怎么去Mombasa? 你怎么去Mombasa? And you're going to go by train from here. So we'll say, 我坐火车去Mombasa. 我坐火车去Mombasa. I will travel by train to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. How about you want to rush to the supermarket and you have your own car and then I ask you, 你怎么去超市? 你怎么去超市? Remember, 超市 is the supermarket. 你怎么去超市? Ah, 我开车去超市? 我开车? I will drive to the supermarket. 我开车去超市. Now you have it. Now you know the different kinds of transport, especially the ones that are common here in Kenya, and how to say, I will travel by this means of transport to go to some place. And this was your teacher, Faith Lao Shi. Until next time, keep on practicing your Chinese language Kindly remember to subscribe so that you can get more of these lessons and see you next time. Zai Jian.